festivalcircuit.com and the director of the Oregon Short Film Festival. We got an event coming up on October the 14th. We're going to play a variety of films on October 14th from animated films to horror to drama to science fiction to everything you can think of. And we're joined here by writer Shrey. What's up, Shrey? Good morning. How are you doing? Um, it's good to see you, man. And your films are Ideas Are Welcome and Write For Me. And both of them will be screening at the Oregon Short Film Festival. And Ideas Are Welcome was actually a finalist for the Best Editing Award at the Houston Comedy Film Festival Fall 2021. So this isn't the first time we've seen Shrey's work up on screen. Yeah, I appreciate you joining us. Yeah, good stuff. You got two award nominations here. Um, Ideas Are Welcome is nominated for Best Comedy Microfilm, and Right For Me is nominated for Best Fantasy Film. So excellent, excellent work on these. We got to get into them. Tell us, can you give us a synopsis? What, what are these two films about? Let's see. With Ideas Are Welcome, um, when a filmmaker goes to pitch uh, his own passionate story to the producer, well, a lot of things go sideways and the you know story takes drastic changes and the character in the story we see their reactions so it's a lot of uh, you know it's a fun little story with a lot of uh, um, different comedic emotions and you know it's been a good response until date gotcha all right and what about right for me tell me about that one um uh with write for me it's about this uh, struggling writer he uh, he does romance novels and he he tries for a different genre he does uh, action and the vigilante character that he writes about comes to life and he sees it in the news and he plans a meet uh, because you know he's about to lose his job and he's trying to uh, make ends meet and uh, while trying to meet things go wrong in the process all right, two very different films, two very different vibes, but you got to tell us what were your roles in these films? What did you do? Um, for both films, I wrote it, shot it, and edited it. And I've had the opportunity to collaborate with uh, different directors for those who did their best. Mm. And, uh, you know, it shows up. And what? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I cut you off. Go ahead. No, no, no. I was, I was just about to add, but that's about it. <laughs> what did you learn anything during the process of, of making these uh definitely i don't know if this is good or bad i guess it's uh situation based but then uh, uh i learned that not everyone uh, who works on uh, to make the film needs to uh know the story or even like the story mm. um it's just the creative uh collaborators like uh the uh, director of photography, the director, the production designer, all these elements. Everyone, whoever um, works on the film, some of the um, crew members, they're just uh, focused on making it happen, making it come on screen. And uh, they did their best. And uh, it, it did come on screen. And like even after the film uh, released, a lot of them do not know the story. So I really don't know that's good or bad, but it works out. <laughs> hey, a little mystery goes a long way, you know? You know, I want to talk about that dynamic of, of being someone who wrote it and shot it and then you edit it. Usually in production, you think everything's going great, but then and when you get into post, you figure out what you missed. So did you find yourself yelling at yourself during this? <laughs> during oh, definitely. This the editing process was, you know, a, a bit by bit tear down of, of everything, you know, I needed. And uh, it, it's every time you watch your film, it's 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 like all the errors that you made are shown right at you. And it's mm -hmm. like it's like pointing fingers at you. So it's definitely an experience because uh, it's it's gotten like you know, 20 final cuts. <laughs> and uh, I'm still not sure if that's the right cut, though. <laughs> well, you know, you create a lot of content. What's what's going on in the future for you? Um, I well, yeah, uh, I, I am still creating content. I do uh, commercials and that kind of thing. But when it comes to writing, I'm, uh, I'm writing, uh, I'm, I'm a lot into science fiction and fantasy. 
Mm -hmm. And my next uh, story that I'm writing is episodic, and uh, it's definitely fantasy based. Okay. All right. Exciting times. Well, is there anything you want to cover before we get out of here? Um, well, yeah, first of all, I'd like to thank the judges uh, and you, Michael, the organizer who, who's considered these films and are you know, excited to celebrate these films on the big screen. That's, that means a lot. You know, when I got the emails, I was super thrilled to, you know, hear the news and it was, it was, I was definitely pumped. Good stuff. Well, the judges really enjoy your work. Thank you for the kind words and we can't wait to put it on screen. You know, I've seen ideas are welcome in front of a crowd. I know that brings down the house. So, you know, very, very good work, uh, you know, solid work to you and your team and, and your actors, you know, they just, really it, it pops off the screen and, and makes a great little laugh so good job with that you make us look good my friend <laughs> yeah and vice versa all righty well we can't wait to see you there in oregon on the 14th i appreciate you taking time to join me definitely definitely all right take it easy excited to see you guys there